Hello, good morning. Welcome to uh, Navnati Yoga. Jai Jinendra, Jai Shri Krishna, Om Sai Ram. We're going to start another year today, the relaxing yoga. Uh, I hope and pray that you all can do it very well and try your best, whatever you can. To start with, we're going to do three omkas. So sit in a, any relaxed posture. Make sure your back is straight. Gently close your eyes. Face relaxed. Shoulder drop. So shoulder is relaxed. Three omkars and we chant Gayatri Mantra and then we begin our class. So take a deep breath in, breathe in for one omkar. First one, breathe in. Oh. Breathe in. And for the last time, breathe in. Feel the vibrations, keeping your eyes closed. Do not open your eyes. Hands together in Namaskar Mudra in front of your chest. We're going to chat Gayatri Mantra once all together. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tassavitur Varenyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We're going to together. Put your both the palms on your eyes and gently open your eyes. Massage your face. Okay, we can stand up, please. We do some stretching, walking, a little bit of jogging, stretching. Whenever we do uh, any yoga snas or any kind of exercise, warm up is very ex very important. So we so we do a little bit of warm up first. Start walking slowly and gently at your own space on the spot. Now we can go for walking easily. There's so many advantages happening now after long lockdown, but still we have to be careful. If you can't still go out, you don't want to go out, do work at home. Garma Panchali Sako. You can walk in the garden, do a few rounds. We don't have much time, so we do only a little bit here. Just this is a tester. But at home, you can keep walking. Even if you are watching TV, you can stand up and walk. Walking is really, really good for you. Slow jogging now. Start running slowly. Always listen to your body. Enjoy whatever you do. And don't do anything forcefully. But at least you try. So slow walking, slow jogging. If you want, we can speed up a little bit just for a few seconds. So lift your heels up now. Try to touch to your buttocks if possible. If not, keep walking, keep jogging. Inhale, exhale. Okay, enough, slow down, and relax. Put your both the hands in your thigh muscles and blow out the air from the mouth. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Until your breath back becomes normal. 
little bit of uh, stretching now. Both hands in the front, legs together. Take both hands straight up. You can join in if you feel comfortable and look up. Do not look down, your head has to be straight. And slowly and gently by exhaling, both hands down. One more time, hands together and stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. It's your body, your hand, your capacity. And as you exhale, hands down by the side. We're going to do ankle stretch now. Same procedure, both hands straight up first as you breathe in and stretch your ankles. Very good. This is very easy. Everybody can do it. And then slowly and gently breathe out, both hands by the side and relax. One more time, both hands in this front. As you breathe in, stretch, stretch your ankle. Look in the front, normal breath. Make sure you're always breathing normal, unless I tell you to do it faster or slower or hold, otherwise it's always normal breath. Breathe out and relax. Inhale, exhale all the time. Shoulder rotation is every really good for your shoulders. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. You do a little faster, breathe in, left up, breathe out, down. One more time, breathe in, right hand up, and breathe out, down. So you don't get frozen shoulder. Breathe in, stretch up, breathe out, behind, and down. Empty cloak, right hand, breathe in up, bring in the front, breathe out, down. Left hand, breathe in up, and breathe out, down. And last, breathe in up, right hand, breathe out, down. Left hand, breathe in up, and breathe out, down. Legs apart for the waistline now. You need to stretch and exercise all part of the body. Nothing should be left behind. So waistline, both hands by the side or the shoulder level. Do it slowly. If you have problem for balancing, if you're not comfortable, do it slowly like this. Breathe in, one side, second, breathe out, the other side. In. Out, in, and out. So keep doing that. The others who can do it, join with me. Breathe in, both hands behind, breathe out. Once in, one out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out, little faster, if you're comfortable. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and relax. You can do a little more longer time if you feel happy about it and if you are comfortable. We do only a few rounds here. The rest I'll leave it with you when you do it yourself. Side stretch now. Again, legs together. Adhikati Chakrasan, then we're going to do the forward bend. Right hand to your shoulder level, make it straight. As you breathe in, stretch up. And as you breathe out, bend towards your left. Look in the front. Do not bend your elbow. This is wrong. If you are doing it, make sure your elbow is straight. And look in the front. Very good. Very easy. In, on the chair, on the sofa also, you can do this. Slowly and gently, stretch up, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Left hand. Make it straight. Breathe in, stretch up. Stretch, 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 your limit, and breathe out, bend towards your right. Look in the front. 
slowly and gently come back up again stretch up breathe in breathe out and relax we do one more time right at your shoulder level as you breathe in take it straight up stretch and as you breathe out bend towards your left so full side stretch you can feel you can see slowly and gently try a little bit more if you can according to your own limit work into your own body slowly and gently come up again breathe in breathe out and relax for the last time left hand to your shoulder level make it straight stretch up breathe in and bend towards your right breathe out stay there enjoy the stretch normal breath breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out enjoy whatever you can do slowly and gently come up stretch again breathe in breathe out and relax now going to bend down bend forward if anybody suffer from a high blood pressure please be careful do it very slowly and gently and if you want to avoid you can do it on a half way if you don't want to go down straight to your ankle come to your knee knee joints and do like this okay <clears throat> but if you are okay to go down please go please try to do it for then so the shoulder level is like the konasan both legs apart breathe in your right hand is touching your left ankle slowly and gently bend down bend forward once you are there then your left hand is straight over your head normal breath breathe in and breathe out few times i'm going to maintain this little longer rather than do two three times stay there as long as you can enjoy if you are not comfortable you can come up come up any time you like slowly and gently come back again now and change i'm not going to come up i'm going to take my left hand to my right ankle is there and then i raise my right hand straight above my head and look up and stay there stay there as long as you can you can come down any time then slowly and gently come back down again now we going to do a little bit of faster movements it when you have a time do those two three times we i we do i already do one times here faster one two one this way you also reduce your stomach so join with me look down if you have high pressure again do it slowly or you can come up one two one two inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale in out in out blast out in out and just stay there hang your hand there one long breath inhale and slowly come up hold this down by the side relax again separate your legs into your hands just relax for few seconds drop your head back and inhale exhale as we bend forward we should also bend a little bit backward now counter pose and relax legs together we do one little bit easy now for everybody both hands in the front breathe in and expand your chest fill your lungs with oxygen breathe in as much as you can take your hands right back and breathe out one more time breathe in inhale as much as you can jatlo swas bhara etlo garo look up 
both ends by the side on the shoulder level. And as you exhale, bring it back. Last time, breathe in and expand your chest. Fill your lungs with oxygen. And breathe out. And relax. Okay, we done the knee, um, the waistline now for the knees. Legs together, both hands on the shoulder on the waistline. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, sit down slowly and gently. Make sure your knees are strong enough. If you have an operation or a knee replacement, avoid it. Otherwise, everybody can do it. Sit down slowly. Come up. Inhale, exhale again. Come up, inhale. Down, exhale. Come up, inhale. And exhale. Somebody just asked me one question I would like to share. Uh, you can inhale, exhale according to your own uh, kriya, uh, the, the method. If I say inhale, exhale, if you are not doing it exactly what I am saying, don't worry about it. Continue as you are comfortable with. There is no hard and fast when you can do inhale and exhale. But as I am doing it, I am saying it for myself. But if you are doing like this, Niche jaina, exhale, thank you, upara, and inhale, thank you, that's fine. There's no hard and fast rules for inhale, exhale, okay? Last time, exhale, and inhale. Give a little more strength to your knees now. Right leg in the front, stretch, bend to the 90 degrees if possible. Make sure your back is straight, don't bend forward. This is wrong. Agarnathiyano, Siddha Jevanuchu, back straight. Make sure your left leg is right behind you and stretch. Jatlo left leg stretch karso, atlo right leg kodare down thase. Jatlo pacha rubare so, atlo apakpan ubore se. So try to do this way. Bend as much as you can, right, and stretch your left knee and stay there. This is really strengthening your knee joints. Few, few seconds. Inhale, exhale here. There's no holding of the breath. Come back up again. Stretch. Change your leg. Left in the front. Right at the back. Bend your left leg. And stay there. If you have any problems, dukta or daroj, so please do this every day and get rid of the pain. Stay there. Enjoy the stretch. Straight up again. Change one more time. Right leg front, left back, bend forward, your knee only, not you. Stretch your left leg as much as you can. And if you want, you can also look up if you want. Otherwise, you can look in the front. There's no, no problem. And come up. For the last time, left front, right back. I'm glad so many people come to my house every Tuesday and I'm very grateful to you and I'm thankful to you. Bend your left leg, look in the front, stretch your right leg. Keep all the parts of your body very strong and healthy. There's the whole idea of good health. And do yoga every day and come up. You have to look after yourself. If you can't look after yourself, nobody has got a time to, for you to look after. So please be healthy, be safe, and be happy. Right, that one done now. We can going to sit down in Vajrasan. If you can't sit in Vajrasan, sit in any comfortable posture. Going to do the Mandukasan first, very important. I hope you have a breakfast at seven o'clock. Your stomach has to be really empty, four hours. Any exercise you need to do it at least three to four hours gap. If you have eaten at uh, nine, 10 o'clock, that's no good to do this. 
So please make sure whenever you do go, yoga at any time, three to four hours gap has to be done on a full empty stomach. Then you can enjoy and then you can do nicely. You give justice to the yoga sana. Make a fist, four fingers gap near your belly buttons and roll your fist there. Breathe in first, take a deep breath in, breathe in. Breathe out, exhale. Push your stomach in gently and bend forward. Excellent for diabetes. It creates insulin in your intestine. And look in the front. Also good for digestive system, for constipation. But it has to be on an empty stomach. You can close your eyes if you like now. Stay there, enjoy the stretch. You do only once. When you have a time and the people who have a problem of diabetes, sugar problems, two, three times a day on an empty stomach and get rid of your medicine it will really give you good benefit. You will see the difference. At least the dose will not increase. You stay wherever you are. Slowly and gently come up. Variation left hand on my stomach, right on the top. You do this two, three times when you have enough time for yourself when you are doing it. At least twice you must do it. Left on the stomach, right on the top, we do once only. Same procedure again, look up, breathe in, close your eyes, breathe out completely, exhale, push your stomach in. If it's empty, it will go straight in, otherwise you will be struggling. Slowly and gently come down. Once you are down, please look up. Do not look down. You will overstretch your neck if you look down. So it has to be a little bit upwards. Same jawa niche, niche ni. Normal breath here. Do not hold your breath. You can feel the vibrations in your stomach if you notice it. If you pay attention on your stomach line. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Normal breath. Slowly and gently come up. And uh, relax your legs now. Both in the front. Both hands by the side of the body. Just rotate your uh, ankles clockwise three times. And anti clock three times. This is very simple and very luxurious yoga asanas. The benefit will be the same if you do the very hard one or very slow one. The procedure is the same, but some is very advanced. To be honest, after a certain age, if you haven't done some advanced one, I wouldn't even try. You have to be very careful what you do and look after your body and your health. And both legs together. You start with the young age, then you can reach to the final destination. And clockwise, breathe in and breathe out again. Bring towards you both the feet, both the legs, and away from you. Stretch as much as you can. It's your legs, you know the limit. Towards you again, it's really good for your legs. No excess pains in your legs and away from you. Towards you and away from you. And shake it off. We're going to do one pranayam now before we start another yoga sana. So again, sit in any comfortable posture. Cross legs. Padmasan, Vajrasan. If you are sitting on a chair or a sofa, please make sure you go right back and make sure your back is straight. Not like this, hunch back. If your sofa is very old, I would suggest to sit on the chair, please. It's better because you have to be careful about your back. Both the hands on the Gnan Mudra, Chin Mudra. Thumb touching my first finger, keep on my left on my knees. Bastrik Abranam, slowly and gently, close your eyes. First normal breath in and out. 
get back your breath to be natural and normal. And now we're going to start only for a few rounds, six to eight rounds. Mastika, inhale, exhale. You keep your eyes clo closed. I'll just open to say it and then I'll close it myself. Inhale for a few seconds and exhale for a few seconds. So inhale four and exhale six. Full breath. You count yourself. Here I'm going to count it for you, but at home, you keep that count, so your full awareness on your breath. The mind doesn't start wondering. Otherwise, you are doing your bastika pranayam and you reach somewhere else. In here, when you do any kind of pranayama, please make sure your full awareness is there. Concentration is very necessary. So start now, bastika pranayam, breathe in, inhale. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale again. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale again. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. La last round. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Keeping your eyes closed. Please do not open your eyes yet. We're going to do another one, the energetic bastika pranayam. If you have a heart problems or if you have a very high blood pressure, I will avoid it. Do not do it. Just continue this normal one at the count, count of four and six rate. Four inhale, six exhale. But if anybody can still comfortable to do the energetic one, we do it together very slowly, very gently, without hurting anything. You have to be very careful about your heart and all your blood pressure. So you can sit again in any comfortable posture. Sukhasan, uh, Padmasan, or Vajrasan, which I prefer myself Vajrasan, but you can sit in any comfortable posture. Both ends by the shoulder level in the front. In one, in two. That means in means take a breath in. One, once your hands are down, breath, breathe out. So in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, like this. If you think you are comfortable, you can do it, do it slowly and gently, okay? So we do six to eight rounds again. So here we go. Make sure again the back is straight, both hands in front of your shoulder level. We start now. In, one. In, two. In, three. In, four. In five, in six, in seven, one more, in nine, one more, in ten, relax. If you're comfortable, if you do not have any problem, you can do a little, little bit more counts and a little bit faster too. Okay, rub your hands together again if you close your eyes. In pranayam, please make sure you close your eyes all the time for a full concentration on your breath in you and not outside. Put over your eyelids and open your eyes. We're going to go on the stomach now because we need to do stomach asans and one for also a few for the back as well. So go on the makrasan, lie down on your stomach. Rest both your hands underneath your chin. Like this. I hope and I'm sure you can see me. Both hands resting on underneath the chin, both legs together, and slowly and gently breathe in, raise your right leg up, breathe out down. Bend your left leg, breathe in. Breathe out. 
in and out, in and out, in, out. We do a little slow and then we do a little faster. So we try to touch our buttocks with our heels. This is just the beginning, warm up a little bit. And this is the most relaxing posture also for your back. If you are tired, sometimes your back is hurting for overwork or you're standing for a long time, do these few rounds and it will be re really good feeling and you relax completely. Okay, faster now. One, two, one, two. Try to touch if possible. If not, continue whatever you are doing it. We are doing fine. I'm sure everybody is enjoying this. It's very easy. And relax. Rest. Cross both your hands and rest your chin over it and relax. Legs apart. Relax in Makarasan. I always like to relax in between. Don't want to overstretch limit and don't want to get too tired. And then you don't enjoy. Legs together, we're going to start now Bhujangasan, Cobra pose. Both the hands by the chest. Chin on the floor, legs together. If you have a knee problem, you can keep, or if you have a back problem, keep your distance with, between the legs. But if you are fit enough, no problem for your back, legs together. We do twice only, breathe in and come up and look up. Do not pressurize too much your hand. It has to be very loose. You come up from the stomach line as much as you can and look up. If you have a spondylitis, neck problem, then you can bend your neck a little bit. But if you do not have a problem with your neck, look up. Stay there, enjoy the stress slowly and gently, inhale, exhale, and come down. We do one more time. Breathe in and come up and look up. Stay there. Excellent for your lower back. Breathe out and come down. Again, cross your hands and chin over your hands, legs apart and relax just for a few seconds. Bring your right leg, bend, sorry, bend your right leg from the knee, Balpidasana. It's like a little child. When they are on the floor, they sometimes sleep like this. It gives really good relief to your back. Legs together again. No time of too much relaxing. Make a fist of your hand. And keep under your thigh muscles, your grind joints for salabhasan, counter pose. Banne muti ne sathar pase rakhido. Legs together again. You're going to raise each leg once. Right leg as you breathe in up. Stretch as much as you can. And stay there. Jatlu tamar kile java Stay there. Normal breath. Slowly and gently come down. Change the leg, left leg as you breathe in up and stay there. Normal breath. In and out, in and out, in and out, two times. When you have a time, you can do twice. Bring it down. Both the legs together. If you are comfortable, if you are not, don't worry. Always listen to your body, but please do try. Bring both the legs together. Try as much as you can. Little bit come up is also good. 
take it to your maximum level. This is my maximum level. I can't go beyond this. But whatever you can do, always listen to your body. Normal breath here, in and out, in and out. Slowly and gently bring it down. Release your hand. Put underneath your chin and this time bend the left leg. Valkyrasan. And stay there. You can rest your head if you like, or if you can rest your chin. Depends how much you want to do, how you can relax yourself. Normal breath, in and out, in and out. Relax a little more because we're going to do the Dhanurasan now. Relax together. I want to try and do as much as I can because this asans is very simple and give you a really good benefit. Bend both the legs together. Bring towards your buttocks. Get hold of your ankles now. Try, please. Stay there. Inhale, exhale. One long inhalation. And while exhaling, raise your head and raise your legs. You to be happy, whatever you can do. But as I always say, is never say no. There's no chance of negativity. Be positive always. Enjoy the stretch. Normal breath. Excellent for your spine, for your stomach. You can see wherever you can feel the stretch. Slowly and gently bring it down. Release your leg, release your hands. And again, relax in Makarasan. Chin over your hand, legs apart, and relax. Inhale, exhale, one time. Long inhalation, long exhalation. We do one more here. I don't know I have done it before or not. Interlock your hands again in the front. Raise my left leg and raise my right hand. This is easy version. And look in the front. Normal breath again. And relax. We do the other side. Raise my right leg as much as I can. My right hand on the floor. And opposite hand. Raise my left hand. And look in the front. Normal breath. And relax. Again, legs apart. Relax in Makrasan. I'm going to do now spinal assonance, which is Markatasan. Very beneficial and very important for your back. Any kind of back problem, lower back, Sciatica, do this few times every day and get rid of the problems. Okay, both the hands by the side of your chest. Come up or you can roll over. And lie down on your back. Lie down on your back. Both hands by the side of the body, palm facing the floor, legs together first. Breathe in and breathe out. 
twice. Bring both the legs together near your buttocks. Bade hathe ti pakdi na ankles ne leya ho, jetla naji ka betla. Arm karso to dur re se, par hathe ti pakdi na leya ho so they will come really close to your body. Legs together this time. Both the hands on the floor, palm facing the ceiling this time. Drop your both the legs on the left side together. Bande pagne nabi baji dari do sate. Let it go on the floor. Touch the floor and you look towards the right. Normal breath again. Inhale, exhale. Excellent for your back. Normal breath, one, two, three. Bring both legs in the center again. Change. Drop both the legs on the right side and you look towards the left. Normal breath. Inhale, exhale, a couple of times. Enjoy the stretch. We do it only once. If you have a problem, if you suffer from back problems, do three to four times and twice a day. Not straight after food, obviously. Keep a gap a few hours and in the morning and in the evening you can do it. Afternoon also if you have a time. Now we have a time and time. Lots of time. And both the legs in the middle. I know the Zoom has done everybody so busy. Maybe you will say, I don't have time now. But for the health, you must have time. Legs apart. Health first, then anything else. Both hands straight. Still on the floor. Drop both the legs on the left side. Let it go on the floor. The knees, try to touch the floor if, you, if possible. If not, I'm ready to be one. According to your capacity, and look towards the right, opposite direction. Always opposite direction. Bully jau to yan rakwanu. Hug ek baju, hat biji baju. Twist of your waist. Bring again in the center. Change. Drop both the legs on the right side and look towards the left. Asanas has to be done very gently and very slowly. This is not fatafat business. Aram di karwanu, enjoy karwanu. Benefit is the same. If you do faster, if you do slower. And again in the center. We do it only once. I will, I'll show you the third variation also. A little tough, but I'm sure everybody can do it. Stretch both the legs on the floor. Together, this time, raise your right leg, drop on the left side. Jamna pagne dabi baju jamin par muki do. So all this back and your hip joints is getting stretched. And look toward the right. Drop your right leg on the left side on the floor. According to your own capacity. Make sure do not lift your hand up like this. This is wrong. Your hand has to be on the floor. Bring them back again. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax. Left leg now. Bring your left leg right up. Drop on the floor on the left right side. And you look towards the left. Maybe a little bit of shoulder will raise, it's okay. But not, do not raise your hand. Shoulder will come up a little bit. Normal breath here, breathe in, breathe out. Again, leg in the center, slowly on the floor. Relax, both hands by the side, legs apart and relax. Most favorite asset for everybody.
relax. In an exhale, a couple of times, we're going to do power muktasan. Good for stomach, digestive system, constipation. Legs together, both hands by the side of the body. Raise your right leg up first. Bring towards your chest and bring it down with two hands. One hand lock karido and then chest pass and magic lay out. Jatlu tamarati avai. Bring your leg towards your chest as much as you can or towards your stomach. Say that this is Ardha Pound Muktasan. And if you are comfortable, you do pull. But if you are not, just stay wherever you can. Slowly and gently raise your head up and try to be near your knee joints. If somebody is very, very flexible than me, they can touch the forehead or your nose towards the knees. Stay there and do the stretch. Normal breath again. Slowly and gently take your head down, release your hand. Release your leg up first and slowly on the floor. Left leg, breathing up, bring towards your chest, breathe out. Press it by two hands. Jatlo hati niche le aasho, jatlo niche tamara manji kaushe, tamara body passe. Stay there first. See the position is right. Normal breath, in and out, in and out. And if you are comfortable, if you are not, stay wherever you can. Raise your head up. Pull number one, Mutasam. Normal breath again. Stay there. Always try a little bit more if you can. Slowly and gently come down again. Breathe in, breathe out. Raise your hand, raise your leg, and relax. Hands apart, legs apart, and relax. Only do once, so both the legs together. If you are comfortable, join legs together. Bring towards your chest. Excellent. First thing in the morning when you wake up, if you have any lower back problem, do this in the bed. Only this asana is allowed in the bed. The rest, always on the floor. 90% and 10% on the chair. Try to give up the chair if you can. Try karso to besi sakso. Give up karso to chodi desu. Slowly and gently raise your head up now if you can. If you're not comfortable, stay wherever you can. Normal breath. And down. Uh, release your hand first. Take both the legs up. Breathe in. Breathe out and relax. Hands apart, legs apart and relax. There is one variation in Markatasan. I forgot earlier, but I like to do it now. Both the legs together, hands by the side of your shoulder level. This is the third variation of the Markatasan. Bring my right leg, my, my right foot on the left knee. Keep it there. Breathe in and out breath. Take my right leg to the left side and look towards the left. Sorry, left side and look towards the right. And stay there. Slowly and gently come back up again. Release your leg and change your leg. My right foot on my, my left foot on my right knee. Slowly and gently turn towards the right. So my left foot is going on the right side and I look towards the left side. This is not so easy 
but it's not difficult to do as much as you can. Do not lift your shoulder too much. Shoulder from the left side. Your hand has to be on the floor. Then slowly and gently come back up again and release. Hands apart, legs apart, and just relax. Normal breath. When you are relaxing, make sure you do inhale and exhale deeply. Undo swas levano, undo swas tolvano. Turn to your right side, take your right hand up. With the support of your left hand, please come into the sitting posture. You can do two uh, Surya Namaskar today. Only two. So please stand up again and then do one or two more asanas before we do the final pranayam. I'm going to do this side so everybody can see. Legs together. Both the hands. Let me stand in the front first and then I'll change for the uh, one of this uh, posture. Both hands together and in the Namaskar Mudra, breathe in, inhale, take it right back and exhale to down. Get hold of your toes if possible. Then take your right leg back, look in the front. And now the tricky posture is you to do the plank asana, not the mountain pose, okay? Take your left leg back. So, you don't do like this. Plank pose. Not like this now. Please correct it. If you are doing it, it has to be plank pose. Upar thari rakhi hoi, back upar to si dhe. Then bend your knees. Into tail pose. Come into, sorry, come into Bhujangasana. Look up. And into child pose. Come up again, breathe in. And exhale, right leg front. Left leg front. And come up. Synchronize your breath with each action. One more, left leg one. Whenever you do, you do always in a pair. Two, four, six, eight. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. Left leg back. Right back in the plank. Go down, ch chest and chin on the floor. Stomach is away from the floor. Slide your feet on the floor and into Bhujangasana. And into child pose. Mountain pose. Bend your right leg first. Bring your left leg in the front. Right in the front. Breathe in. And breathe out. And relax. Sit in our lesson now. We're going to do one more Ustrasan for the uh, diabetes. Stand on your knees. Legs apart. Either you can raise your legs like this, but if your toes are hurting, keep your legs down. I prefer down. I tried a few times, but then my 
toes start hurting. So I'll change it to let go your legs there. If everybody is not comfortable with this, this asans, final posture, do this one. Keep your both hands to your waistline on your back and then go back. Take your neck right back. Drop your head and look up. Keep your eyes open. This is also good. This also gives you the same benefit. But if you are comfortable, touch your right heel first with your right hand and then left with your left hand. This way also is good. Also this one is good. At look part very sakoto is good. But if you still more want to do comfortable, drop your neck right down and look back. Stretch your neck. It's good for thyroid legs as well. Your neckline, two, three benefits. Very good for diabetes. Must do every day. And look up. Look up with your open eyes. You breath in and out. Slowly and gently come back up again and sit in a Vajrasan. First, just stay there, sit in a Vajrasan. Keep your eyes closed now. As we done the backward posture, counter poses, forward posture. So, Yoga Mudra. Again, four fingers. Gap. Make a fist. Breathe in and breathe out, come down. In your mudra, you drop your neck down, look down. Niche Jovanu, Matu Dharidu. Really good, relaxing for your back. Normal breath again, in and out, in and out. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Relax your back, it's good for your lower back. Slowly and gently come back to the so already time for another last pranayam. Sit in any comfortable posture. No matter what you do, please do pranayam every day. If person is doing pranayam for a few years, they didn't have any problem with this virus because the lungs are very good, heart is solid, immune system is strong, and hormones doesn't get changed or any kind of viral infection doesn't affect you. So please do every day at least some pranayam for your own benefit, for your own health, for your own good. Close your eyes. You're going to do anulom vilom pranayam. So close my right nostril. With make a Vai Mudra, my first finger touching the end of the thumb and put the thumb over it. Hence the other fingers together. So I'm just using my this finger and my thumb. So close my right nostril, breathe in from the left first. Close my left nostril with the finger without right. Full breath. Inhale. Right, close right, exhale left. Inhale left again. Again, you can count one, two, three, four without six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale four. One, two, three, four. Close your right without left. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, left. Close your left without right. Now you count yourself. Breathe in, right again. Close your right without left. Breathe in, left again. 
Cross your left, the right. Breathe in right again. Close right without left. In right, left. Close left without right. In right again. Close right. Out left. Please continue. Few more rounds. This pranayam is excellent. It's master pranayam. It helps in your migraine pain, headaches, insomnia, depression, stress. It really, really gives good benefit if you do it every day. You can see the difference when you have headaches. Please do not take paracetamol straight away. Try to do this pranayam, get rid of the headaches naturally. The more naturally you become is better for you. The more you start taking medicine, you start depending on the medicine. It's all upon you, how you take your life, how you want to be healthy. Try to stay away from the medicine if possible, as much as you can. If you try to do yoga and pranayam every day, you don't need to take any kind of so much medicine. Because your hormones is balanced, your immune system is strong, and nothing can touch you. So please continue one last round. Breathe up from the left and put on the thigh muscles, on your knees and relax. Keeping your eyes closed. We're not going to open our eyes. Kapal Bharti Pranayam now. I prefer myself Vayu Mudra to release the excess gas, but you can sit in a chin mudra or any kind of mudra you prefer to do it, whatever is suitable for you. Try not to learn too many mudras at a one time. Just do what, whatever is beneficial for you and carry on. So Vayu Mudra, again, keep both hands on your knee joints, on your left. Slowly and gently start doing Kapalbhati, exhale, exhale, exhale. You exhale the breath and inhalation will be automatic. One second, one stroke, not very fast, not very slow. We do for a few rounds. So when I say stop, we stop together. So please start exhaling. Please continue, Kapalbhati. This is excellent again, Master Pranayam, and better on a empty stomach. The stomach has to be empty completely. Then you enjoy this very much. Three to four hours gap before you do Kapalbhati. If you have an operation of the stomach or if you have suffer from hernia, please do it slowly. Or take the doctor's advice before you start Kapalbhati Pranayam. Otherwise, everybody can do it. It also builds up your immune system. If you want to reduce the weight, control the weight, do Kapalbhati every day, five minutes at a stretch. If you are tired, you stop and you can start again. You don't have to carry on continuously for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. You can stop in between and start again. So please continue a few more rounds if you can. If you are tired, you stop. Few seconds. Please do not open your eyes. Do not look around who is doing what. Just concentrate on yourself and continue. It also says shining of your forehead. It doesn't bring wrinkles on your face. And relax. 
do not open your eyes yet. We are not finished with Kabal Bhati. Keep your eyes closed. Do not lose energy while looking around. We are going to do the nostril Kabal Bhati now. So put your right thumb on your right nostril and exhale, exhale from the left. Then I am going to ask you to change. So you close your left and exhale from the right. Very simple. So we all do together a few rounds. Close your right nostril first. Make sure your back is straight again. Keeping your eyes closed all the time in pranayam. There's nothing to look around. So please start with the left nostril. Exhale, exhale. Change for the last time. Keeping your eyes closed, do not open your eyes. Uriyak and Agnisar once. Both the hands on your, on your knees. In Agnan Mudra, take a deep breath in, breathe in, inhale. Exhale. Hold your breath while you're exhaling. Chin to the chest. And hold your stomach from inside while you're holding your breath out. And release it. Agnisa, once. Same procedure. Here, we're going to hold the breath and we're going to shake our stomach in and out, in and out, according to your own capacity again. Take a deep breath in, breathe in. Breathe out completely, exhale, hold your breath, hold your stomach, and roll your stomach in and out, in and out. And relax. Just sit in the silence a few seconds. Ujjain pranayam today. Really good for your thyroid glands again. And we got so many singers in Navnath. So when you do this Ujjain, it also improves your vocal. So if you want to sing better, do this every day and clear your throat. In here, we are not going to breathe from the nose. We're going to breathe from the throat. It will make a funny sound, but it's okay. In the beginning, maybe if you haven't done it, it's, it's difficult. It's a little difficult for you, but it's not impossible. So try as much as you can do. We do only once. So how we do it? We contract our throat and breathe in from the throat. Mm. Like this. Mm. Breathe in from the throat. So as Gramati Levano. You might cough a few times if you haven't done it or if your throat is big. <clears throat> it also clears your cough, cold, uh, sinus. So try to do it few times. So this is Ujjain Pranayam. You practice whenever you can to improve your throat for your vocal and for your thyroidness. So we do one more time. We then we close our right nostril and breathe out from the left. So we do once. Breathe in. Make your, take your neck down. Breathe out from the left. And look up. 
So this is Ujjain Pranam. It's really good for your throat. Do it every day. You will be really good singing nicely. Everybody will love you. Sitli Sitkari Brahmari Udgit. Final Pranayam. Sitli twice. Brahmari three times. Sitli. Take your tongue out and breathe in from the mouth. Close your mouth. Breathe out from the nose. One more time. Close your mouth without nose. Sitkari and Sitkari is the only pranayam you breathe from the mouth. Sitkari, to cleanse together your teeth first and suck the air from the side. Excellent for your teeth and gums. Close your teeth. Breathe out from the nose. Daroj Karwano, that Majbut Rese. One more time. Clinch your teeth. Breathe out from the nose. Brahmari. Three rounds without closing the ears. Two rounds with closing the ears. Brahmari. In here, please make sure you breathe in first and out breath with ma sound. Put your tongue in the upper palate of your mouth. Jibna under tarama chotari devani. Okay? Make sure you breathe in and breathe out with makar. Full blast. You should feel the vibrations in your head region. So close your eyes. Make sure back is straight again. Shoulder drop, face relax. Breathe in. One more time, breathe in. Last round, breathe in. Now two, we're going to close our ears from outside. First two fingers in the forehead. Now close the thumb, pro <coughs> close the ears from outside the, with the thumb. Ka Kani under Nati Anguto, Bharti Bankarancho. Twice. Breathe in. Both hands on your knees again in the Grand Mudra, three omkars and then two prayers. Breathe in and then chant omkar. Oh. Full round of Auma, Om. Oh. Last round, breathe in. Oh. Hands in the prayer position. World peace and Sarve Bantu Sukina all together. Sarve Bantu Sukina and Asatamal Asat Game. Sarve Bantu Sukina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Ma kaschit dukha bhaad bhave Om asato ma sadgamaya 
Tamaso Mazyotir Gamaya Mrutyurma Amrutam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Please keeping your eyes closed. Bow to the Lord. Gunaman Karo. Rabbi us together for the last time. Put both the palms on your eyes. Open your eyes then. Massage your face. Thank you very much for joining it. Please do practice whenever you can. Morning, afternoon, evening. Three times a day you get a chance. And this is the time you can make the most of it. Thank you very much. Jai Jinendra, Jai Shri Krishna, Om Shri Ram. So, Ben, thank you so much for a great yoga session. And we just wanted to say thank you for the last 10 weeks and volunteering your time. It's greatly appreciated. Um, everyone, we also have a program at 2.30, a Rangoli program. So it'd be great to see you. Um, and we look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Thank you.